Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. On today's video, the kids are back in school. I love them. It's time for me to miss them a little bit during the day. I have been DIYing all day while I have been gone and am trying to get into the fall mood. I can't quite get into pumpkins yet, but in this video, I'm gonna do things in a little bit darker of a green color to try to get me in the fall spirit. Maybe if we make the stuff for fall, the weather will follow. So if you guys wanna see how these thrift flips turn out, stick around. For the first project, I'm gonna tackle one of the 18 pictures and picture frames that I got for $10 recently in an estate sale auction. I was intrigued by these butterflies and when I take off this plasticky top, realized that the yellow was just from the plastic top. So decided that I wanted to change the frame real quick to this fern green from Waverly, got this at Walmart, and just did, I think I did around three coats just to make sure it was really coated well. Um, this is a chalk paint so it does stick to things and I did, anytime you use this type of a paint you do need to seal it so I did use a polycrylic sealer on top of it. Um, after that, just put it back in without a front glass. I'm still trying to decide if I'm going to get some glass cut, um, put some plastic in it, or just put it in my booth as is. What do you guys think? Now this next picture was not one of my favorites from the estate sale. I'm not a fan of just the wine color and the gold together. So I went to take the picture away from the matting and accidentally ripped the picture. So plan B, which was kind of going to be my plan in the first place. I'm going to paint this matte and hindsight I wish I would have spray painted it with clear first um, just because it did end up doing some bleed through but no worries just did a coat of paint did a polycrylic another coat of paint another polycrylic and it took a total of three coats of paint and polycrylic to get this mat to look the way that I wanted it to. You can see right here, here's the bleed through that I'm talking about. And it was like a multicolored mat, so that's legit, right? So I just took this gold frame and did the Waverly antiquing wax, straight antiquing wax over the top of it. I tried just rubbing it on, decided to use a brush to kind of get it into some of the cracks a little bit more and then wiped it off pretty soon after just so it had like an older look to it. Then I took, this is something that I bought a while back. It was a pre-printed print. Um, I took this Gorilla adhesive spray to it and just sprayed the back of it. And you will see that the spray can, this is the second time I've used it and it kind of, uh, it kind of did the spitting thing and I was like, please dry clear. Spoiler alert, it does not dry clear. Do you see those like little oil looking stains? That stayed on there. Um, no worries, I probably paid a dollar for this sheet. Um, 
ended up going into my little collection and replacing it because I did not like how this looked. So I just took this off and found a piece that I had gotten from an antique booth a while ago and I finally found a place for it. It was basically just a page from a book and I attached it to the sides where it could not be seen um, just with some packing tape because I'm not using that spray adhesive again. Like it's totally making me mad. But here's another idea. Um, the graphics fairy has so many beautiful graphics for free. Like she doesn't charge you anything for most of the graphics. I know there is a paid subscription, but she makes money because there's traffic to her website, right? So she has so many of these graphics that you can download. And guys, you can go to like Office Max and for less than a dollar, get a colored print on like a heavy card stack printed out. So you could pick any of the stuff that she has, get it printed, go pick it up, and then just put it in like an old frame that you don't like or a thrifted frame. You guys are gonna love the way this looks when it comes out. Let me know, what do you guys think? This next project is a picture that used to be very multicolored. I did a spray coat of just white and just left it. Guys, I've probably had this half done for, let's just call it four or five months, but it's probably been longer. So I thought, you know what, there's like leaves on here. Let's just do this in the same color that we're using this whole video this fern green color it's growing on me all this color anyway i do i did not mix this with baking soda or anything because the texture of the pitcher was fine i just did three coats of this and then at the end did a nice coat of polycrylic i think it is a very good decor piece that you can use year round and the great thing is it still holds water, so this would be a perfect picture for fresh cut flowers. This next basket I found at the thrift store for $2.09 and I have sold the one that I had already done like this in my booth. So I thought let's do it again, but I did not think that it would be a good two-tone basket. Let's just do the whole thing in the same color. So it took only two coats. Like the first coat covered most of it, and the second coat really made it look like it was supposed to be this way. Um, I did not distress it at all but I did do polyurethane um, on the whole thing and then decided it needed some little things on the basket. And I used the drop cloth that I always use. I will put a link in the description below. It is washed and dried and I just rip the sides. I just find it looks better than cutting. And then I added some IOD stamps um, I used the Spriggs stamp from IOD and then used some stays on ink. You can use any color that you want. I went ahead and used this Timber Brown. This one right here, you'll see that on the first stamp, I'm not super excited about it, but realize that it did not bleed through and so I just flipped it over and did the other side. On this other sprig, I didn't want the whole flower, so I only put the ink on the flower that I wanted. I could have used painter's tape, but I couldn't find it while I was doing this, and this worked just fine. After I finished the stamping, I glued it with a high temperature glue gun, 
and happy with how it turned out. This next project is pretty fun. I have been drinking this kombucha juice, which has like an active cultures in it, good for your gut. But I only grab the ones that have amber glass. And I know that this is not antique amber, but it's still a beautiful color when it comes to fall. So I'm taking off labels and using Dawn dish soap and rubbing alcohol and lemon oil to get all the sticky off and then i'm using this ephemeral iod transfer that sonnet from sonnet's garden blooms gave to me and i'm just cutting out the different transfers that i want putting it on the glass and then styling it up with some flowers that i got from walmart so it's a very i mean the bottle's free I drank what was in it. I cleaned it up. I mean, if you look at the cost per transfer, like this is a pretty good deal to kind of dress up some of your glass, your glassware that you thrift from the thrift store and just grab some flowers. I am going to price these all with the floral in them and put them in the bo my booth to get ready for fall. I just think this is a nice way to add this darker fall looking color and I know these aren't antique bottles but it's a fun look to them now this one I got a little carried away with my stuff so I went and got 220 grit sandpaper and just kind of sanded the label as well to make it look like it was really worn and just went with it um, it may have been a place I did not get all the grease off of the bottle or the stickiness off of the bottle but decided, well, you know what, this makes it look old. Let's go with it. And then this one had a wider mouth at the top where you could see where the top was screwed on. I decided to put some twine over the top of it. Um, I think this one was from Walmart, but you can get it at the Dollar Tree as well. And then these are the picks that I got from Walmart. And I just got them the other day, so they should be still in stock, hopefully near you.
Well, what did you guys think? Did you guys have a favorite? I am kind of having fun with the darker green, stepping outside of my like apothecary world and muted tones. This is making me kind of get in the mood for fall. I mean, I really wish the weather would cooperate, but um, trying to get some fall stuff kind of sprinkled into my booth in mid-August, mid um, it's already starting to happen in my, in my booth space. So I'm gonna try to start with some of these colors and then gradually work my way to the pumpkins in all things pumpkin spice and everything. Gosh, I cannot wait for fall weather and my husband's excited about football. I just, it's a great time of year. So um, thank you guys for joining me today. I'd love a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite project was and if you are dreaming of the fall weather. Guys, thank you so much for coming on this journey with me and I will see you guys again next week. Thank you.